So you think the monoxide on Jason will be? You got a burn permit? Yes, we do. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a great day. You too. So we just saw some flames, some smoke. Um, normally like that, like I said, Saturdays, people are off work, they're out doing things. So they don't call in burn, burn uh, or control burns through us, that's through the fire department, but it looked safe. She was in an open area. There wasn't really a lot around it. Um, looked like she had dug a hole. So she's, She's good, we'll check back later and just make sure she's either still doing that or she's finished. Right now we're headed to a residential alarm, uh, negative contact with the key holder or anyone at the address. So we're gonna head down, make sure the house is secure. And if it isn't, deal with that when we come to it. So I don't got any lights on in the house. We'll check uh, around the back and see if maybe there's a rear door open. Uh, we got an alarm going off at this residence. I'm just going to use your gate to jump, okay? Oh, yeah, that's fine. <sighs> nice. I ain't fitting through this. Sheriff's office. <laughs> South 14, I have an unsecured back door. Can you start me a second? Go for it. <laughs> Sheriff's office, if you're inside, make yourself known. So we got an unsecured door. We just called for a secondary unit just to make sure that if there is anyone inside here, we got some backup. Be waiting on them before we make entry. What up, big dog? Stop for two, making entry. Sheriff's office.
coming up. This is clear through there. Yep. Went out. God damn. So, I don't know if we have a way of securing this. Was it all the way open when you got it? No, it was cracked. Just cracked just enough. Yeah, there ain't no way I can secure that. Close this and just hope no one uh, goes in. South 7, I can clear. Where's it at? South 14, residence clear. So, situation like this, um, house is code four. Just got that, that back door having an issue. Um, we'll see if we can get some information off the plate, maybe get in contact with whoever owns the home. But no signs of forced entry, no signs of uh, damage on the inside, you know, and there's nobody in there. So as of now, we'll, like I said, see if we can get in contact with the homeowner and let them know. How are you? Is this 2220? That's 2220? Okay. Thanks, bro. I'm going to pull the car up. Sixteen, copy Nevada plate. Good. Nevada plate four seven four. Adam Sam Lincoln returns negative for walk valid. Expiration twelve twenty nine twenty twenty two. On a two thousand thirteen four Gene Henry. Copy. Thank you. Sheriff's office. Hello, Mr. Gene. Yeah. Got some papers for you. What uh, eviction. If you come over here, I'll read it to you. Unit four. Do you know? If, do you know if you're getting evicted? Yeah, I paid my rent. Copy. Huh. I, I. I mean, I'll read it to you. He sent me an email or something, but he, I don't even know what he's talking about. He just uh, uh like this. He uh, the person I was paying rent to. This is your landlord. Pardon me. Your landlord? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they turned it over to property management. And I asked him, I said, well, should I go ahead and pay April's to the, where I was paying it before? To yeah. Cut cost you care. So you're not, you're not getting evicted today. Okay. It's just, it's a notice. And look, once I serve you these papers, you can go to the courthouse and grieve it. Okay. It's up to you. Just You got your ID on you? Uh, yeah. Can you go grab that for me? I oh, know the weather was horrible. What's this address? Two 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 zero. Bell Vista. Bell Vista number year number five. 
Six. Six. I used to be the owner, and and uh, anyway, we only had four mailboxes. They said we just had four mailboxes, and and we just used four traffic. mailboxes. But now they got a couple more mailboxes out there. I was in Nebraska for about six months or so when I came Good. back here. But anyway, I, I'm ready. Returns with cautions of violent tendencies as well as a warrant out of our agency for FTA traffic. Bail is $345. Yeah, turn around, bud. What? You got a warrant for you. For what? FTA on traffic. You're going to pay traffic ticket. I paid it. I swear, I paid it. It's 300 bucks. That's what it's showing us. It. Well, we'll go down to jail. You can, you can handle it. Change money back. I can... I'll, I'll take this for you, okay? Just let go of it. I can't just, I can't just Gene, leave my house. Gene, Gene, buddy. I don't have a warrant. Gene, buddy. I do not have a warrant. Buddy, don't make this worse for you. Don't make this worse for you. It's only like 300 bucks. You can go down and take care of it today and you'll be out today, okay? It's for an unregistered vehicle. You know Deputy McGill? No. Well, he's the one that rode it. He's a motorcycle cop, you remember that? Yeah, and I paid it. That's not what we're showing, man. Okay. 16, you want in custody? Copy winning. Are you cussed too tight? No, they're all right. They're all right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. You have anything on you in your pockets? I don't have any pockets. I was just fixing some breakfast. I okay. hope I turned all the burners off in there. I'll go check for it. Here, do you want to sit down in this chair over here? Sure. God, I can't believe you guys. Yeah, I paid that. I paid it. The protest is short. I paid online. Well, it shows us that you still have a ticket for 300 bucks. Yeah, it's supposed to be fine. These are good? Yeah. yeah, I'll come help you in a second. I paid my rent, too. I... Yeah, so that that's all. That's not with us. That's just between you and your landlord. Okay. If you want to go... um. I wasn't driving or anything. Yeah. Well, anyway... Okay, I'll uh, I'll finish serving this once we get to the jail, but it's all explained in here. You'll get a copy of it once you get there. So I'm gonna verify on four thirteen twenty two. Anyway, car. And... Anyway, it's just... I this would be cool. Go back in cuffs. Ah uh, yeah, I guess. No matter. Uh, he had an eviction notice. Unfortunately, he had a warrant for his arrest. We always run people before we serve evictions for that reason and just to verify that they are who they say they are. Um, he has a traffic ticket from about a year ago that he didn't pay. So uh, he's going to go down to the jail, take care of that. He's been served. He's got his copy of his eviction, so he knows the deal. Um, uh, pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. Thanks, Tall. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna book him in while my other deputy's on the way to the jail, just to save time for him, because he was willing to come here and pick him up for me. We just got Turn left onto uh, West Irene. Dispatch to another domestic. Um, basically, the male half is making threats towards his wife. Uh, unknown weapons, unknown intoxication. Advising the female was requesting help. There are cautions that the male half has made threats to shoot anybody who comes on his property, so we'll bear that in mind as we're, we're coming on, making sure you know he's not coming out the door ready to fight. South 14, Nevada plate. Go ahead. 910, Victor Robert Charles. Copy. Sheriff's office. Oh man, he's suicidal. Hello, are you, are you Joan? Okay, does he have any firearms in here? No. Open inside the vehicle. I've got a camera crew with me, is it okay if they come? Uh, no. N no? No. Okay. Shop 14, try your current sandwich. registration on the Are you Leroy? You are? Yeah. What's going on, Leroy? 
You drank a bunch of Listerine? I saw 14, you can stand down secondary. Why would you do that for? Because it was bugging me. It was going back and forth. I couldn't eat, so I pulled it out. Okay, do you have any present thoughts of suicide? I want to hang myself. You want to hang yourself? Be good. Do you have, do you want to kill yourself? Might as well. Huh? Might as well. Okay, is it a yes or a no? Let's say yes. Do you have any plans? No plans. No plans yet? But you drank all this Listerine and... Oh, I was saying no trees high enough around here. There's no trees? There's an oak tree, be good. Okay, do you want to go to the hospital? Yeah, might as well. You want, okay. Kind of insane. South 14, can I get medics to my location, please? It might be dangerous, I don't know. I'm kind of kooky. You're kind of kooky? <laughs> yeah, it's not good for you to drink this. <laughs> you wash your mouth with that sometimes? Yeah, but I don't swallow it. <laughs> You're a young man, about 22, 23. <laughs> you take any other prescriptions or anything like that today? <laughs> you take any other medications? A hydrocodone? A single? Yeah, it's a single peel. Okay. Okay, well, I got medics coming, okay? okay. So basically, the gentleman uh, drank two bottles of Listerine he, he, after he pulled his own teeth, thinking it was going to help, and then took some uh, hydrocodone, some pain medication. Um, he ain't feeling too hot. Just drank two bottles of Listerine. I don't think he's feeling too hot, anyways. So we're going to have medics come take a look at him and see if he needs to go to the hospital or not. That's a bottle of Listerine. Yeah. That's a normal bottle, too. That's like. That's like four dollars. These are cheap. But they know That's the problem. Well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't want to die. You know how you should want to live the rest of your life happily. All right. So uh, on this call it came out as a uh, domestic, not a domestic. Um, male drank two full-size bottles of Listerine. I uh, was talking about tying a noose and killing himself. Um, had medics come out, take a look at him. They're transporting him down to DVH. Well, they'll uh, they'll assess him there and see what they're doing with him. But uh, he self-admitted, so we don't have to do a legal 2000 on him due to the statements. So that's a plus. But uh, hopefully he uh, can get down to the hospital and get the help he needs because he needs it after those two bottles of Listerine. So we're going to a call. Uh, the person is complaining that her house is being egged. Like people are throwing eggs at her house kind of as a prank. She says that it's chipped the paint on her car. She's probably going to want to report for property damage. However, it's unknown who it is. So. We'll give her a report for her insurance. That way they can repair it. Besides that, I'm, I don't see us being able to do too much, but we'll find out once we get there. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. He's okay. <laughs> Go outside. Sixteen, copy Nevada plate. So the only reason why I'm making a big deal about this, I don't know if they relate it, is there's a civil injunction, and now they're coming onto my property. Okay. And you, I'm guessing you're gonna have some kind of damage from this, right? Uh, yeah. She already tried getting off of hers and it was Good. Uh, you might know who it is. Yeah. Are you? I mean, you do know who it is. I mean, we have a pretty good idea. We don't have enemies like that, you know. No, like okay. videos or anything like that, though. Okay. Well, that's okay. I mean, that doesn't mean we can't go talk to him. You know. Well, first off, she has a text message from yesterday where the girl's threatening. Stating, what was the statement she made? She said your girlfriend is done for. Their car them. got egged. So here's and they assume it's me. So here's really what happened. Her best friend in August. Good. Messed around with her boyfriend. And then Top sixteen of Anna Robert Sam. Copy. Are you Haley? Perfect. So. What I can do, um, I'm guessing you're going to want to report for the property damage, right? Yep. Give to your insurance. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can go over and talk to him. I have no promise it'll happen today. I'm so sorry it's been forever. That's okay. We've, I don't even want to start on the day we've, we've had so far. But um, at some point, I'll definitely go over there and uh, make an effort to talk to him, if not today. Okay. So 
This happened last night, you think? Yeah, it happened at 1210. I actually heard them. You heard the... But by the time I could get out here, they were, I could hear them driving off. So they actually, so there was eggs in here where they, it looked like they were like running up to, and they dropped some when they were running up to the house. Okay. So it, it appears that somebody came up through right here, throwing them at the house that way. Possibly another one right here because they threw it at my car, but it also looks like a third person might have came up on the side because I heard it and got up really fast. Okay. And then they kind of like skid out of the driveway. Okay. Before I could come up here. So there's possibly two or three people. Do you guys have your IDs on you? Yeah, I can get it. Thanks. So then there's the one, the wall. Here's where I was in the middle where you can see the eggshells that were in the ground. Okay. The directions in which they were throwing them. Do you want to text those to me? Yeah. Is your phone on you? Go to your notes app and then like type in the names of the people you think they are. Okay. Do you know where they live? Yeah. Okay, put that in there too. And then I'll uh, have you screenshot and send me the message that you got. Okay. Dude, do you want me to go over there and talk to them? Yeah, kind of because it's been going on for eight yeah, months. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know some people though, like they, they just want the report but they don't want to make it worse or I don't think it makes it worse. I think it stops the issue. But all right, I'll be right back, okay? It's an issue that's not stopping. It might be a little funny to other people, you know, like it's just an egging, whatever. But they're pretty fed up with it and they have the right um, to our services to attempt to stop it. So I'm gonna write a report up for them. I'm gonna do some follow up at some point. I don't know about today, but definitely I'll be going over there and talking to the people that they think did it. Maybe scare them, maybe prove they did it and write them a citation. Who knows? But um, I'm not gonna blow it off just cause it's, you know, silly juvenile humor. Right now I'm just, I'm attaching them to the call. I'm gonna get pictures. I'm gonna get a written statement from her with the prices of the damages. And then we will go from there. Now we're going, because now she's potentially abrasion to her head, bleeding, head pain. So now we're now we're moving. So dispatch has already contacted medics to get them en route to us. So basically, we're just going to get there as quick as we can and make sure that she's not uh, coding or anything along those lines, just to provide basic first aid if we need to. Do we have an updated location of where that female's at? Right outside the facility. Right outside the facility, they say. This is the problem when you work out of sector. You should definitely know your sectors, and I don't. She's up there. What are we looking for? Old lady fell and hit her head. Alzheimer's, stuff like that. So we passed it again. AMA. Okay. And then she fell off and snapped her head. So I'll be out with that female. I cannot touch her. Right. Keep the sun off of her. That's all I can do. Yeah, I got medics coming. And we called for the ambulance. Yep. We're in front of the facility. How you feeling, honey? I feel fine except for my head. Yeah, you took a you took a tear for sure. Well, uh, your arms kind of messed up too. Oh, I, oh, I guess my God. Uh, Oh, she wiped it already. Okay. <laughs> You're a tough gal. Yeah. Look at you. You don't even need me. I'm just here. Where else are you hurting, honey? Just my head is what fell on my derriere. You fell on your derriere. Yeah, that probably hurts too. Yeah, they're already in route. She already wiped everything. She don't even need us. We're just we're just here as a complimentary factor. I live at two thirty one Gilmore. She lives at 231 Gilmore. Okay. In, in Pahrump, she, yeah. uh, the, the, the problem is, is she has her electricity turned off. And I gotta have it turned back, I gotta call it and have it turned back on because I'm going home. Okay. Power's off and then also 
family is concerned that it's uh, un uninhabitable. Okay. And oh, so they... Robert and Heather, you know Robert and Heather Pat. Yep. And they have. Need the... I say more? And, and... <laughs> and she needs. They, they have a key. She doesn't have a key. She says she has a key under the thing, but family has the key. She fell and burned her legs. That goes with Space me. Here. Okay, we'll make Ooh. sure. <laughs> I hear coming. Okay, no problem. Hey. hey. How you doing? Well, fine, except when I fell and busted my derriere and whacked my head. <laughs> Did you? Did you trip over something? Oh, I... I walked cockeyed on that and I looked at your head. Take your glasses off when you put up. You got a big gas on your head. She also got her arm. Her leg, her leg is... Girl, what do you say we run down to the hospital get that eye looked at? Well, if you can help put my big ass on that thing. <laughs> we'll get you up there. Sure we can. Hold on just a second. Sir. Is anything else bothering you? No, just my derriere. And just your derriere, okay. Ready? Okay. One, okay. two, and three. There we go. All right, we're gonna come right over here and have a seat, okay? Okay. What happened to your leg? I fell on a space heater at home and burned it. Okay. And I, my daughter-in-law, daughter taught me into coming to here to rehab right, I got you. and I got stuff. You. And I've been waiting for them to come in and check at the doctor. Here, you just get on there. I got your stuff. Don't okay. worry. I'll put it up there with you. Want me to throw our stuff in the ambulance? Sure. I appreciate okay. it. Oh. Here, let's lift this you up and we'll scoot you back. Okay. Holy cups. Where else are we bleeding Your from? collector. Yeah. Lift up your arm for me. There we go. You know, Earl, are you allergic to any medicines? Codeine. Codeine? What happens when you take codeine? I get a rash. A rash? Okay. You feeling dizzy at all? No. No, it's just you tripped and fell. That's it. Okay. I realized that I didn't have two left feet. <laughs> okay. Not a problem. I'll lift you up a little bit, okay? Okay. Ow. All right, hon, all your stuff's in the ambulance, okay? Okay, thank you, guys. All right, get it now? Yep. Okay. It's the one thing I forgot to grab with my med bag. Let's lift up the top five. High blood pressure. High blood pressure, diabetes, COPD. Okay. Do you take insulin for your diabetes? Yes. You do? Okay. Do you, are you on oxygen every day for your COPD? Nope. No? Okay. The doctor said I didn't need it. So otherwise a healthy young lady, huh? Yep. Okay. No more falling, okay? No, no problem. I'll learn right. not to tap it. You ready? <laughs> you ready for an e-ticket ride? Yep. Now I have my Medicare Medicaid. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Little, little crazy getting here. Definitely got lost, but you know, we got here at the end of the day. She's getting transported to the hospital and she's looking like she'll be all right.